Y'all know what it is. Yo, I done gave y'all the jewels on copyrights before. You know what I mean? When they was using my video without my permission. So I'm here to give y'all some more jewels. Now, you know, Lil Wayne won the masters uh, to all his music from Baby, right? Then in June last year, June 2020, right? Uh, it was reported that he sold his entire catalog to Universal Music Group. You know what I mean? Now, that included Drake's music um, from before um, and during uh, 2018. For example, that Scorpion album that Drake had. You know what I mean? So all that got sold for $100 million. And Nicki's entire catalog was with that too, Nicki Minaj joint, you know? And then you also had Tiger. He dodged the bullet a little bit because... Uh, he made the fourth album that he made. He did that independently. So that's how he dodged it. You know what I mean? So that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about, you know, um, these artists selling their masters, selling their uh, intellectual uh, art, selling their publishing and things like that for the new artists that's coming up that don't really know and understand how this thing go. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing nice with this, man. These people is going to come after your masters because your masters, your copyrights, you know, um, all that is considered as your intellectual property. You own that. That's like you birth something. That's like you birth the child because that has its own EIN number, which is equivalent to a social security number. You understand what I'm saying? So that's how they pay taxes on it. That's how they make revenue off it and so on and so on. So now I just want to let y'all know that this is not nothing that been going on. Me, myself, I don't agree with that. You know what I mean? Lil Wayne sold all that for 100 million. You know what I mean? Dude, you just won damn near 100 million from Baby. You know what I mean? So you didn't need 100 million right now. Those music is gonna, those is making money as we speak. You know what I mean? So if it's worth 100 million now, as I just said that, it's worth 105 million. You know what I'm saying? Because people is buying it, streaming it, and doing everything else to it. You didn't need that 100 million, Wayne. Wayne, you didn't need that 100 million. You understand? That's why I respect Mayweather, man. Somebody put up a picture of Mayweather with that bag of money when he had that check, that 100 million dollar check. Mayweather was getting his checks for fighting 100 million. He walked around with a check and a knapsack. You know what I mean? To let him know, I ain't even cashed this one yet. You know what I mean? Because he didn't need to because he already got so much money. Same thing with Lil Wayne. Wayne, you got so much money. You already had money. And then you sued, baby, got your master, so you got money from that. And then you turn around, you sell it for 100 million. Come on, dog. You know what I mean? That's the same thing that uh, what's their boys did, that the Beatles did. The Beatles sold the rights to their joint, you know what I mean, to all their catalog, to Michael Jackson. That's why these Europeans were so mad at him. Michael Jackson owned the, the, the intellectual property of America's biggest boy band, first biggest boy band, you know what I mean? The Beatles, even though they was from over the UK, you know what I mean? But Michael Jackson owned that. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, come on, dog. You know what I mean? When you create something, you keep it. That's why when I was getting money back in the days, I didn't lease cars. I didn't rent cars. I brought cars because I wanted the title. You understand? I wanted full ownership. The same as when you make music, you own full ownership, but they're teaching you to give it away. Don't give away your masters. Don't give away your copyrights. Keep all that. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's what's going to make money for your great, great, great grandkids that you didn't even think about yet. But you're thinking about them just by you creating and having intellectual property. Intellectual property is just like having property. Don't get that twisted. You understand what I'm saying? So Lil Wayne, to me, that was nuts, man. You know what I mean? They said he reportedly sold it for $100 million. Dude, you didn't need that $100 million. You could have held off, dealt with the little money you got, put that joint up in the vault, and kept doing what you're doing. That's what I would have did. That's what a business, I, I mean, my type of businessman would have did. I can't knock him. He making his money. He doing him. But I'm letting the youngest know out there, don't get rid of your masters, man. You got these big labels now that's coming at people trying to buy their publishing. You know what I mean? They want to lease your publishing for 50 years. So they give you a, a lump sum now, like a million dollars. You understand what I'm saying? So they say they give you a million now. Oh, you jump on that million. You know what I mean? So now you got a million dollars. But now they own your joint for the next 50 years. You don't know what's going to happen with it in the next 50 years. And yeah, they gambling by doing that. But still, you don't want to get rid of it because once you do that now, they sit there and they accumulate a bunch of masters, 
I mean, a bunch of publishing. And even if the music is whack or whatever, now when they go to go try and get a big deal or loan or whatever, they bring those masters intellectual properties. You know what I mean? They bring the paperwork and they say, hey, look what I did. Look what I own. You know what I mean? And then they borrow money on your music. You follow where I'm coming from? You know what I mean? But you done gave it away for 50 years. Because now you got my man Kanye, you know what I mean? He tried to buy back his masters, you know what I mean, from Universal and couldn't get it. Because they're not trying to sell it to him. Them people are not trying to give us back our masters and stuff like that if they tricked us out of it. You know what I mean? That's like somebody robbing you, you know what I mean? And then uh, 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 you're giving back the money. They robbed you, dog. You know what I mean? But you can negotiate, try and get it. But Kanye put a whole bunch of things out there letting it be known that, you know what I mean, that uh, the music industry and, and uh, NBA is nothing more than modern slavery. You know what I mean? And he wants to be the Moses. I don't blame him for that. You understand what I'm saying? He's putting the word out there, and I hope the youth is listening to this. You understand what I'm saying? But the first person that did that, now that he mentioned modern slavery, the first person that did that was tattooed with our, our prince. Prince had tattooed on his face like a sideburn slave because he's saying he was uh, making a, a, a stance that he was being uh, used as a tr as a slave uh, um, to, for Warner Brothers because they refused to give him full artistic control of his music. He wanted his masters. You know what I mean? So he fought, 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 and then by the end, end of the nineties, he sold uh, uh, he signed a six uh, uh, album deal for a hundred million. You hear that, Lil Wayne? Six albums, a hundred million. You gave away all your albums, all all, 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 all Nicky's albums, you know what I mean? Some of Drake's albums, you know what I mean? All his earlier stuff that was cracked. And then some of Nicky's joint for a hundred million. Come on, dog. A hundred million? Come on, man. Prince signed a deal for a hundred million for six albums back in the late 90s. And here it is 21 years later. You understand what I'm saying? 21 years later, and Lil Wayne takes a hundred million for everything he did that was crack. And what Drake did before 2018, including the Scorpion. And then including Nicki Minaj. And including all of Nicki's music. And then including Tiger. Because you know he put them out. Wayne, come on, dog. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I don't have an issue with you going that baby to get your money. Because you felt he owed you. So you went for that. You have a right for that. You know what I mean? That's what the system is for. You know what I mean? But now you got that. Now you needed baby. You needed somebody to tell you don't do it. A hundred million dog for all your music. When Prince got a hundred million for, even though Prince was a pop star, but he got a hundred million for six albums. Lil Wayne, you're a pop star. You're an everything star, man. You're my hero, dog. I've been listening to music 26 years while I've been in prison. But that's where we at with that, man. So I just want y'all to know what time it is, man. Don't sell your masters. Don't get rid of it. I don't agree with what Lil Wayne did. I'm down with Kanye fighting to get his masters back from Universal. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, um, I like the way Prince was fighting Warner Brothers to get uh, uh, complete artistic control of his music. You understand what I'm saying? And... Prince used the terminology that he called being signed to a record label, being that they was owning his, his, his masters and everything, didn't want to give it up, as a, 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 what is it, contractual shackles. Prince said that he was under contractual shackles, meaning the, the contract had him shackled, man. You know what I mean? And he couldn't do nothing. You know what I mean? He couldn't make money, couldn't make moves like he wanted, so he bucked them. But, you know, that's where we at, man. But just so you know, that, that's me giving you up the game on copyrights, man. Don't sell your copyrights, dog. So don't say I didn't tell you, all right? So make sure you do what you got to do, you know what I mean? To preserve your copyrights. Preserve your intellectual property. If somebody use your property, even if it's on YouTube, you have the right to contact YouTube and hit a copyright claim because you own that. You own that. If someone take your car... You'll contact the police to get your car. That's not ratting. You own that. Because people try and use ratting for every goddamn thing. Come on, dog. Stop the games. You know what I mean? If you use somebody's stuff, you got to pay. All right? End the story, man. Yo, you know what time this is. Unique, the Harlem legend, the icon, the kingpin. Make sure y'all check out my YouTube channel at Unique Maker Audio. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like my joints. Make sure you comment on the joints. And make sure you share this joint. All right? Make sure you hit the notification button so you notify when the videos come in. You don't want to miss it. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that Unique Mecha Audio got it going on.
Alright. Hey, make sure you get this joint. It's bananas. A roaring Harlem at a roaringharlem.com. You ain't gonna find another better book. Yo, get this joint while supplies last, because I'm telling you, the best book you're gonna read, five stars, is crack.